Hey everybody, it's Ronnie R21 checking in. I know I'm a few days late with this, um, but I wanted some time to play things over my head and talk to some other people. As we all know, over the weekend, we've had two mass shootings in a matter of 13 hours, and then another shooting in the same state. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna talk about briefly, because we're not gonna drag this out, because everybody's been political and emotional over this. I'm just gonna get to the meat of everything. Mass shooting at Walmart in El Paso, Texas. That did not need to happen. Innocent lives were lost. And that's the part that hurts me because there were innocent people who were hurt. Um, I love humans, so that's the part that hurt me. So in honor of those people, rest in peace. Um, a gentleman walked into a Walmart with an AK-47 semi-automatic rifle. And nobody saw this gentleman get out of his car, walk through the door, or walk through the store. Now, exactly where he was positioned, I don't know. I was not there. Right now, I'm being a Monday morning quarterback. But my concern is this is Texas, where basically they are known for carrying guns and why nobody engaged. Yes, in the heat of the moment, I was wondering that, but then I had to think. You're inside of a crowd of Walmart, anywhere from four or 500 people to maybe upwards of a thousand, who knows? School's getting ready to go back. And so that means you've got a lot of people who are gonna be quote unquote in the way, i.e. know what's beyond your target, which is number, th uh, number three, I think, on the uh, uh, four rules of safety. Um, when you are out here at these stores, people, maintain your awareness. Four color codes of uh, alertness, white, yellow, orange, red. Always stay in the yellow. Be aware of your surroundings. Um, get off these phones. When you're going through the store, I understand we want to shop and multitask and talk on the phone. But when you're, on, when you're in these stores, people, anything can happen. It may not be an active shooter. It could be a fire. It could be an earthquake. It could be a car that's driven through the wall. Anything. You need, to, you need to be alert. You already have to worry about watching your purse, making sure you got the right brand of cornflakes, you got the right price, you got the right coupon, what have you, you got enough going on. Another thing you wanna take you wanna take into account is texting. Yes, fellas, sometimes we get hit with the dunny with the honey-do list and we have to go and we're that we're getting orders from the wife, you know, make sure you get the sugar, make sure you get this, make sure you get that. Even though most of us probably go to Walmart to buy some practice rounds unless you reload your own. Um, Train, train people, constantly train. Be aware of the surroundings. Even when you're at the gun range, practice looking around, keep your head on a swivel. I'm not saying walk around like a stormtrooper and look all crazy, no. Keep your eyes on a swivel. You see something that doesn't look right? Look at it, make it known that, hey, I see you, I understand what you're doing. Um, make sure that you are aware of where you park your vehicle. You know, if it's at night, a lot of us have to go to Walmart at night but nowadays because of the lives that we live, park in a well-lit area. Uh, when you're with your children, keep your children close to you. Don't let them run to the toys while you're over in the, in the TV section looking for, you know, some batteries or something like that. Keep your children close. My children, when we go out, they either they walk next to me or they walk in front of me. These are just some options. I'm not claiming to be a guru. I'm not. I know what works for me and how I train my family. And I highly recommend you guys do the same thing. Find out what's good for you. Another thing you want to pay attention to is when you go to your car, look around. Make sure no, no, you don't see anything wrong, like broken glass, flat tire even. And I bet yet somebody crouched down in between two cars. Another thing, uh, the shooting in Dayton. Dayton, Ohio, gentleman went in there. I think he shot 11 or 12 people, I'm not sure. Uh, I know he did shoot up, he did shoot his sister when he shot up the club. 
uh, people, even though you're in a club and you're hanging out and you're having fun, you're having cocktails, still remain in the yellow because anything can go wrong when you're in these clubs, i.e. Uh, there was a club in Florida where there was a mass shooting that happened a couple of years back. Then this one here, people, I understand, we work hard, we're, we're constantly on the move and our brains are constantly going and when we go out with the girls or with the guys or with other couples, whatever the case may be, however it is at your party, we want to want to quote unquote, let our hair down. People, you still gotta stay in the yellow. It's always good to go out, you know, we wanna go out, we wanna have a cocktail or two. Um, hopefully you're not carrying if you're drinking, um, bad choice. But when you're out and about at a club or a sports bar, wherever the case may be, still stay in the yellow. Maybe kind of upgrade between yellow and orange. Reason being, uh, not just for shooting purposes, but somebody could be getting into a fight or better yet, somebody trying to pickpocket you. Anything can happen. Um, times are changing. We gotta change with the times. Be alert, be cautious, stay armed, stay in the yellow. Don't forget, like the page, subscribe. Have a great day. Talk to you guys soon. Stay safe.